Unemployment benefits for 11,000 Wisconsinites began to run out in April, three months ago. A couple months ago, I, my unemployment ran out. I was evicted out of my apartment. I couldn't pay my rent. I could, I don't even have money to pay for my medication. Legislative committees voted to extend benefits for 13 weeks on Monday. They couldn't do it sooner because they had to wait on a recommendation from the Unemployment Insurance Advisory Council, made up of business and labor leaders. The council knew about the problem back in February, but did not act until June. On Monday, Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce spoke on behalf of the council. There was a lot of other things going on in the Capitol and elsewhere at that time uh, that uh, caused uh, you know, the leaders on the labor side did not be able to be at some of the meetings, and so that was a challenge as well. Seeing that WMC was involved in this process, Madison resident Mary Jo Walters demanded answers. I would like to understand that process and who exactly, what is the name of that council that we just learned um, held up the process and held up the monies for people. Is this true? Can, can this committee talk about did the federal government have the money in April when the benefits ran out at the state level and that there was a council that was not in session because there were other things going on? So that this is now July. A woman just spoke about how she did not. She's your end of the rope. She's your drop off point that you talked about. So, so you need to be held accountable to this fact that people were without food and money and shelter. Who's going to answer that? And are the press listening to describe the, this process? Who is the council? Walter's question had already been answered. There was a lot of other things going on in the Capitol and elsewhere at that time uh, that uh, caused uh, you know, the leaders on the labor side to not be able to be at some of the meetings. And so that was uh, a challenge as well. The council met twice before the April deadline was reached. During that time, union protesters were laying siege to the Capitol, and the only council member to miss both those meetings was Phil Neuenfeldt, president of the Wisconsin AFL-CIO. Neuenfeldt did not respond to a message from the MacGyver News Service how his absence might have delayed the benefit extension. For the MacGyver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.